In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the error failed to reach any official servers on CS2. Now, this can happen for multiple different re reasons, but it's actually quite easy to go ahead and fix it. So follow all the steps I tell you um, one by one to make sure you get it and it works. So the first things first is that the Counter-Strike servers could just be down. So you want to go ahead and check for that first thing. Now there's mo multiple websites that tell you how to do this. You can use something like um, Down Detector. This is gonna tell you if their servers are down. So you can see user report indicate no current problems at the Counter-Strike. So that's what you wanna check. You can also check other websites, other places to see if it's down. Now, if it's not, if it is down, then that's why you won't be able to play and you just have to wait till the servers go back up. But if the servers are completely fine, then it's potentially on your end and there's a few ways you can fix this. Now the first way is just to simply go ahead and exit out of Steam. So go to the top, press exit, and it's gonna shut down Steam. It might take a few seconds. From there, I'd also recommend opening up, opening up Task Manager and making sure you close CSGO and Steam. So make sure they're both closed uh, there and then just restart them to see if that can help the problem. Because sometimes it can, you might be out of date, you might be a mismatch of dates, so you can do that and it will um, just make it work sometimes. Now once you've loaded up Steam, if that does not help, then you can go ahead and you can go and check if the files are installed properly. So go to uh, Counter-Strike here, and you want to go ahead and right click on it and go down to where it says Properties. And then from here, you want to go down to where it says Installed Files. And you want to verify the integrity of the game files. So when you click on this, essentially it's gonna go through each file to make sure they're installed properly and to make sure there's no corrupt files. Now this can take a little while, maybe five up to 10 minutes, but this is basically gonna see if the files are corrupt and if that is the issue. Now if that um, goes through there and it does find some corrupt files, it's gonna give you the option to sort of fix them out. So it might get you to do some kind of small update to do it. Um, so give that a go and see if that fixes it, that can often help. Now if that doesn't help, then you might want to go ahead and try reinstalling your game. That often helps because they might not detect some files. And also make sure you're up to date to the latest version of CS2. Uh, that can also cause the problem. Now, if you're unable to do it through those methods, I would recommend going ahead and restarting your PC and also your Wi-Fi. Those two things can also impact this. Um, restart your PC, uh, make sure you restart your internet so you've got you know fresh connection, fresh internet and everything like that and see if the error still remains. Now if the error remains after all of those, then you're gonna have to connect, you're gonna have to contact Steam support, see what they say, they might have some fixes about it, and they might know maybe you're banned or something like that. But those are basically the way that you can fix it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below that helped, and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, either about CS2 or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.